My name is David Rosenthal, I'm 22 years old and I'm from Pennsylvania. Jillian Laskowitz, I'm 22 years old and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Where are we right now? Samantha Winter, 24, and I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. And you need to learn the word chutzpah, which is very, very important. Okay, get your backpack out of the way. Damn bad. <laughs> Action. Yeah, I have a lot of friends here and um, <laughs> are you ready? Action. My name's Molly Winnick. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Haworth, New Jersey. <laughs> it's me, Lauren. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm okay. doing it. You're just doing that? I'm just gonna hold it the whole time. Just leave it like that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? No. Come on. Okay, yeah, I'm ready, of course. Oh, this is Funda's first time on camera. So As you see, he's gonna be a superstar. When they say something to the camera. If I look here. Sorry, look at me. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm Josh Albert. I am 29 years old and I'm from New York City. You can leave the coffee in the shot if you want to look off that day. <laughs> <laughs> Aroma. <laughs> is I'm from, like where am I from from? Or like <laughs> where you're from. Okay, sorry. Okay. Take I'm four. Hi, <laughs> I'm Amanda. She's like, hi, I'm Jess. And the rest is history. And now we're roommates and pretty much do everything together. Wake up together, go to sleep together, nap together. I'm Kaylee, I'm 27 and I'm from South Africa. I'm Mona, I'm 24, I'm from Australia. I think they'll know by now then. I think they'll know that that's your name. Okay. Put it down? <laughs> yeah, you can put it down. Okay. Um, what did you do before you came here? I was an elementary school teacher in Cleveland, Ohio. I taught kindergarten and first grade for two years after graduation, and I did it all. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to be an airline pilot, so I thought I'd take a break from real life, as it were, for a year or so. I realized that I hadn't really been necessarily living in the moment as much as I would have liked. Um, I feel very connected to this country, and I wanted to dig deeper into that connection. I was teaching for the past six years uh, in New York. I was a media communications major and I came on birthright this past summer just kind of on a whim and fell in love with Israel. They got me. I wasn't doing anything to make it to make a difference and uh, I wanted to make a difference. Working with kids um, from third grade to eighth grade and inspiring them to learn the language, making it something that's fun, something that's alive. Teaching was super different from what I expected. Um, it's kind of crazy and chaotic and there's a big ball of gong, which means there's just an absolute mess. Kids never stop talking, but their intentions are really good. And we sort of went off the cuff and I asked them, what do you think happened before the story started? And like the answers they gave me were so brilliant. Do you love English? Yes. Okay, good. Some days we just play games, like we have to make up characters together or write a story together. And they kind of really like, bond as a class. We rely a lot on like hand gestures and like broken Hebrew. It's very hard, but at the same time, they're all such wonderful kids. It's really great. You have to remind yourself that through the challenges, you really are making a difference. And even though you might not see it and it might not be as tangible as you want it to be, just being there and talking to the students every day, like that really is making a difference. You make them excited to learn, and so it's really great. I love it. Lovely girl, won't you stay? There are seven people stay? in a really small, tight stay. space, and everyone has different lifestyles. So a lot of us aren't coming straight from college and straight from dorm life, but it's a lot of fun, and it's a good time, and you make a lot of really good memories. Australian remnants from a party. And dum dum dum, Vegemite. <laughs> Fleet of black. You have a lot of freedom on the program to really 
create your own life here. So I go to a junior high school in Rishon and I play theater games with a special education class there. This year I did a project called Humans of ITF where I took pictures of fellows in Rishon and I interviewed them and asked them questions um, like what's your favorite ice cream flavor, uh, where do you want to be in 10 years, um, hopefully things that they were interested in talking about. We got a dance drum roll please. <laughs> um, we dance in Tel Aviv, at a studio in Tel Aviv. Hip hop and Zumba and like other classes. Yeah, I do jazz and stretching, sometimes ballet. And we take strip classes. Yeah. <laughs> On Shabbat, I typically go visit my family. It was just nice to be able to visit them and like really build like a connection that, with them that I didn't have before I came here this year. My host teacher's name is Ori, and she's just like the best. Um, so we started off like going there for Friday night dinner, and we like go on trips with their family. Uh, recently, I wrote a post for Pink Pangea about the 20 essential Hebrew slang words to know. I think outside of all like the craziness of school and Israel, it's cool to have something that you like really love and really enjoy. My personal favorite has always been the Negev uh, seminar, which is uh, kind of to take people to a place that's very remote and very secluded. No, I can't look at this camera and walk at the same time. So we did this awesome theater seminar in Beersheba where we went in this big space and we did theater games and it was so, so much fun. And the best highlight for me was when Lauren and Rosie went up together and they were playing this alphabet game. It was super, super interesting. I felt like it was really relevant because we were going in Israel for six months. And so the stuff he was talking about, like the jokes in certain videos about living in Rishon or living in Tel Aviv or cottage cheese being really expensive was like really relevant to me. Israeli, the Israeli street, the Israeli culture could be kind of very different. This is Rega. You gotta know this. It means wait. The buses here is like the clearest show of Israeli culture. You have to hang your stuff up on a line like it's the 1800s. I feel like you do have to come with a healthy dose of chutzpah. If you're talking to kids, you're just gonna be doing this all day. Like seriously, because they're always doing something crazy. I saw that another teacher had something that I really needed and I just went up to her on my own. It was like the first time I felt like I was Israeli. Israelis are really warm. Like sometimes they'll push you out of their way and not say slicha, but or for the most part, and still and push yeah, you. exactly. Um, but it's fun, it's not boring. <laughs>
your experience and it is what you make of it. I think just like coming in open-minded for a really, really cool experience, it's gonna change your life no matter what. I met a ton of friends here, it's been an amazing experience and like just reflecting now that it's the end of the year, it's gonna be so difficult for me to go back home and everyone is just gonna be all over the US. And then there's Australia and South Africa and Great Britain, so we're all over the map. So if you come with the right attitude and with an open mind, you can get so much out of it that's not just, you know, placement and a place to live, it's a life. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure.